Air by Supertone is a reverb and dialogue match plugin. With its price tag of $249, that is including VAT, this plugin will not appeal to everyone. But regardless, the Supertone Air does offer very interesting technology. The plugin captures the sonic profile and reverb from a source file and apply those to a dry signal, where it will match the dry track to the original recording. This is very powerful for especially ADR post-production work where you need to replace voice dialogue. And let's put Supertone Air to the test and I think the best way to do that is to record my voice in the hallway of my studio. This is recorded with the Röde video mic and as you can hear it sounds way more reverby in here. I think by now the plugin is done with capturing this reverb and let's compare. But first, Supertone Air needs to capture this dry recording before it can apply its EQ and reverb matching. This voice recording is done with a Shure SM7B. Now when I turn on Air we get this. Air needs to capture this dry recording before. Now when I turn on Air we get this during this reverb and let's compare but like and as you can hear it sounds now when i turn on like this it's a lot more similar in eq and reverb but i do feel i need to tweak the parameters so let's go back and forth between the original recording and the 7b with air but with a re-recorded line i did in the original which is something you would do in post-production adr recording video mic and as you can hear it sounds way more reverby in here and as you can hear it sounds way more reverby in here video mic and as you can and as you can hear it sounds way more reverby in here way more reverby in you can hear it sounds way more reverby in here video mic way more reverby in here here it sounds way more reverby in here as you can hear, it sounds way more reverby in here. And as you can hear, it sounds way more reverby in here. Video mic, and as you can hear, it sounds. And as you can hear, it sounds way more reverby in here. Video mic, and as you can hear, it sounds way more reverby in here. It sounds way more reverby in here. Reverby in here. It sounds way more reverby in here. Here, it sounds way more reverby in here. And as you can hear, it sounds way more reverby in here. Now it's basically the same, the biggest difference is the different performances of that vocal line. Now before we continue, please make sure to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and hit that little like button. This video is sponsored by DistroKid. The best way to get your music into popular streaming platforms like Apple Music and Spotify. You get unlimited uploads and many handy tools to promote your music and keep 100% of the royalties you earn from your streams. Use the link in the description of this video to get 7% off of your first year on DistroKid to find out why so many artists are using DistroKid to distribute their music. Let's do the same again, but now when I go into the recording room of my studio, which sounds like this. I still have the Röde video mic recording my voice, but this is a very different reverb. Let's compare. My recording room has a lot less reverb. That means that the EQ matching of Supertone Air will be tested a lot more right now. This voice recording is done again with a Shure SM7B and when I turn on air we get this. This voice recording is done again with a Shure SM7B and when I turn on air we get this. Mic recording my voice but this is a very different reverb. Let's compare. Shure SM7B and when I turn on air we get this. I find here that Supertone captures the mid-range quite a bit and that it's largely due to which part of the original file you capture. It is crucial to capture the right part, so I recaptured one line and its re-recorded part and that one sounds already a lot better. This is a very different reverb. This is a very different reverb. Let's A, B and find you. This is a very different reverb. 
This is a very different reverb. This is a very different reverb. Different reverb. This is a very different reverb. Reverb. This is a very different 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 reverb. With this last line, let's compare it with the EQ matching of FabFilters Pro Q3 to see how close that can come with the tonality. This is a very different reverb. This is a very different reverb. It is close, but this mid band needs to be increased. Very different reverb. This is a very different reverb. This is a very different reverb. This is a very different reverb. Of course, now you're missing the essential reverb matching. And for that, here's the similar priced Accentize Chameleon 2. I let it learn on a reverb of the original recording, and this is the result together with FabFilter Pro Q3. This is a very different reverb. 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 Right, I'd say this is just as close as Supertone Air. Now, the Pro Q3 and Chameleon combo is of course more versatile. You can really fine tune the sound. But then you can also add an extra EQ to use with air like your stock EQ. The combo of Pro Q3 and Chameleon will be more expensive, and it takes twice the amount of work with learning to basically get the same result as you get with air. Supertone only outputs in mono. Let me show you with this artificial reverb I added. This is a very different reverb. This is a very different reverb. When I switch the stereo reverb to mono, you will hear that Air did a very good job at capturing. It is really close. This is a very different reverb. This is a very different reverb. This accentizes Chameleon does capture in stereo, and it does an excellent job in that. This is a very different reverb. This is a very different reverb. Sweet Tone Air is very capable at what it's set out to do. Matching tonality and reverb for dialogue, and it's probably the easiest one to grab both right now. But as always, try it out for yourself to see if it fits in your audio toolshed.